This video shows a sketch pad with a metal binder and white paper. Two paintbrushes are resting on the bottom left hand corner. As the text is spoken, the words appear on the page in black writing, followed by cartoon style illustrations, just like notes and drawings being made in the sketch pad. Scarborough Museums Trust, Star Car. Scarborough Museums Trust looks after a lot of special objects that belong to the people of Scarborough. The Rotunda Museum, a grand, sandy-coloured stone building. It's an oblong shape, and rising out of the centre is a large, curved column with pillars and a dome roof. Here are our five favourite objects from Starcar, an archaeological Stone Age site close to Scarborough. Antler headdress. Holes, antler frontlet from skull of a red deer. This is the top part of a deer's skull where the antlers would come out. There's only half an antler remaining on one side and a small stump on the other. There are holes at the top of the skull. A cartoon image of a man appears. He holds a sharp spear and wears the skin of a deer. The antlers poke from the top of his head and the fur drapes down his back like a cape. Who wore it? Why was it made? What do you think? Flint hand axe. Hard stone, sharp edges. A round but jagged lump of grey stone. Next to it is the flint hand axe, a thick rounded branch with the grey flint stone pushed into it near the top, making an axe shape. Axes were held in the hand or fastened to a handle. Did it look like this? Birch bark rolls. Tightly rolled birch tree bark. Two tube shapes of rolled up brown bark. A birch tree. Three thin silvery trunks with bright green leaves on the top. Floats for fishing nets, torches or fire lighters. Barbed point. A knife shaped object with a sharp pointed tip and small jagged points carved on one side. Made from red deer stag antlers. A red deer, a rusty coloured deer with large antlers and a serious, majestic stance. Originally fastened to a wooden handle, how was it fastened, used for hunting or fishing? Animal remains. Pine Martin skull, a long grey skull on its side showing three pointy teeth. Next to the skull is a cartoon image of a pine martin. It's a ferret-like creature with four legs, a thick tail and small black eyes on a little face. This pine martin has brown fur with a section of white fur down his neck and small pink rounded ears. He is poised on some bark. There are small grey claws on his brown furry paws. Now mostly found in the north of the UK. Why is this? Remains help to compare and contrast habitats then and now. Three speech bubbles appear. What is your favourite object and why? Share your thoughts on social media or have a chat with the museum team. We would love to know what you think. Visit us on Facebook at Scarborough Museums, on Twitter at SM Trust or Instagram at Scarborough Museums. Supported using public funding by the Department of Education and Arts Council England, Scarborough Museums Trust. Illustrated by Savannah Storm.